Okay, let's rationalize the denominator today. So rationalizing the denominator. Rationalizing the denominator means that we do not have any thirds in the denominator of our fraction. So no thirds in denominator. So for example, say we have 2 over root 3. Right now we have a, a third in our denominator, root 3. Well, what can we do to get rid of it? Well, we can't just erase it and say, yay, we're done. That's just silly. The question really is, well, what can we multiply root 3 by to get rid of the square root sign? So remember in the previous lesson, we made a comment then, if you have a square root number third and then you multiply it by itself or square it then essentially all you're left with is the number inside the square root so for example root 3 times root 3 just gives you 3 so it's that trick that we're going to use to get rid of the, uh, the third in a denominator so what we're going to do is multiply top and bottom by root 3 so what we get is 2 root 3 on the top and on the bottom, root 3 times root 3, because it's the same third multiplied by itself, it just becomes the number inside the third. And now, yay, there is no third on the denominator, it's just a single number, and we have a rationalized the denominator, and we're good. So let's do a few more examples. So example 1, let us rationalize the denominator of the following. So let's do 3 root 2 over root 5. So yes there is a square root on the top but we really do not care about that. All we really care about is what is on the bottom. So right now on the bottom we've got a root 5 so to well, rationalize the denominator we just multiply top and bottom by root 5 whatever's on the bottom. So on the top, 3 root 2 times root 5 gives me 3 root 10, because remember, multiplying thirds, just multiply inside. And then root 5 times root 5 gets me a 5. Now, can we simplify it any further? No, we can't, because the coefficients 3 and 5, they have nothing else in common, and I can't cancel anymore. Um, a common mistake that students may do is... Oh, they say, oh, look, there's a 10 here and there's a 5 here. Why don't we just cancel that out of a 2 and that would be 1. And then really we've got 3 root 2 over 1. That is not correct because you cannot simplify or just cancel out a number inside the third with a, num well, with a non third number on the bottom. So if you're going to simplify the top third, then it has to be simplified with some third on the bottom instead. But right now we don't have any thirds on the bottom, so we can't simplify the root 10 anymore, and we just leave it as is. Now for B, let's do 2 root 6 over 5 root 2. So right now we want to rationalize the denominator, so we only care about the third part, only the root 2. We don't care about the 5. Because that's not a third, it's got no square root on it. So let's multiply top and bottom by square root of 2. So on the top we have 2 root 12, because 6 times 2 is 12. And on the bottom we have 5 lots of 2, because root 2 times root 2 is a 2. So we get 2 root 12 over 10. Now, because the coefficients 2 and 10 have something in common, namely they're both even, I can simplify that. So I'm going to go next line. So really what I have is root 12 over 5. Now let's think about it. Can we simplify root 12? Well, yes, we can because we can break that down into 4 times 3. So that becomes 2 root 3 over 5. Now the coefficients, 2 and 5, there's nothing in common, so I can't simplify it anymore. Root 3, I can't simplify anymore, and then we just leave it at that. One more. C, 1 minus root 3 over square root of 3. So first look at what's my denominator. Right now it's root 3, so let's multiply top and bottom by root 3. 
Now be careful, the top we have the whole term 1 minus root 3, so I'm going to do the bracket expanding. On the bottom I've got 3, so make sure you put brackets around anything that has two or more terms. So on the top we have root 3 minus root 3 times root 3, which becomes 3 over 3. Now please don't make the mistake of saying, oh look, there's threes everywhere, let's cancel it out, so I just get root 1 minus 1 over 1. And that's that's bad, that's, that's incorrect, because again, you can't just cross out something inside a third with some other number. So this here, unless there's a third to counterbalance it at the bottom, you can't just delete it or cancel it out. And even, in fact, on the top, you can't just cancel the 3 and the 3, just because of the whole numbers, because there's another term here, which means you need to make sure you need to factorize out a 3 before you can cancel out the bottom. So all you're saying is, really, you can't factorize it, you can't simplify it, so you can't cancel anything top and bottom. And that's pretty much it. So rationalizing the denominator means no thirds on the bottom. So all you need to do is look at what third is on the bottom, multiply top and bottom with that third on the bottom, and then hopefully things will be lovely and can cancel out and can be simplified. So to-do list exercise 3e. some complex familiar that's it have fun